Hi, I'm Aniki Nippon, and today I actually am going to show you guys uh, something a little bit different today. I'm working with metal paints, and they're just like uh, enamel paints. They're uh, very hard to clean off of a brush, and you actually need paint thinner for it. So I'm going to kind of get into uh, uh, some of those kinds of paints and how to dispose of the stuff properly too. So first off, I'm going to show you that uh, the, the kind of uh, the kind of stuff I'm painting onto the canvas is I'm I'm using actually a real copper paint. This is a copper paint that I'm put on the canvas, and uh, that's what it looks like when it's uh, when it's completely dry and or when you use it for the first time. And uh, like I said, for this paint, you actually need paint thinner, so make sure you have paint thinner. Uh, the kind of paint I'm using, here you go. This is called uh, Liquid Leaf. It's a copper. It's It's got real copper in it. It's got real copper, and that's what I wanted. It's not like acrylics. Acrylics, you can you know wash down the drain very easily and stuff like that. No, don't do it with this stuff. Uh, first of all, you can't clean the br brush, like I said, with a regular water, you're going to have to get some kind of paint thinner. And uh, always get a disposable cup. Make sure you get a disposable cup that uh, that uh, you're not going to want. And never drink out of it. Never drink out of it, even if you clean it. Just don't use it except for painting or cleaning brushes. That's the one thing. And uh, so anyways, after you clean your brushes, make sure that uh, you dispose of it properly. First of all, do not, uh, when you're actually painting, make sure that you have a, a good ventilation. I have something that's a odorless paint thinner, and uh, this stuff's uh, made so it doesn't smell, but you still want it to be in a well-ventilated area. Just because it doesn't have a smell doesn't mean you can't pass out from the fumes. It's still emitting fumes, so make sure you keep your doors open or your windows open. Make sure it's well-ventilated. Even when you're applying this paint, it's very, very volatile. So just make sure you you got a lot of air and letting it dry is on a day when you can allow that and open your windows and, and doors so you can uh, uh, allow it to uh, allow it to uh, dry or, uh, dry and ventilate and stuff like that. So, anyways, but after you clean it, after you clean it with the uh, paint thinner or turpentine, remember these are all volatile chemicals. So don't, uh, whenever you clean off your brush, make sure don't send it down the drain. Uh, you don't want to, number one, have that near your sink. Or you don't want it to be near food, so do it away from there, you know. Have plenty of newspaper down and everything like that, so in case the paint, like, drips over your canvas or whatever you're working with, you know, make sure... Uh, but also that uh, paper, when you throw that paper away, like the newspaper or whatever you're putting down, make sure you just throw it away in the trash. But when you take the trash out, um, don't just throw it in the trash bin. This stuff is volatile stuff, and it's very hazardous to the environment. So I recommend you go to one of, the, uh, one of your local city or county centers, which actually does handle hazardous material and because that's what the stuff is it's very hazardous you know turpentine uh, paint thinners and even the the uh, chemicals used in this paint are very very volatile so I highly um, actually I, I am personally recommending that you do that instead of throwing it in the trash because it's dangerous stuff and it's bad for the water supply and everything else around it so um, whenever you're working with the stuff you know make sure you keep it in a bag you know, put it in your recycling bin or whatever, but remember that uh, you need to take it specifically to like a hazmat place because that's where they handle all that stuff. So, again, uh, work in an environment that's uh, well ventilated. Any materials that you painted on or got turpentine or paint thinner on, make sure you dispose of it properly. And those are the two biggest things I wanted to mention. And, uh, oh yeah, don't drink or, you know, reuse... Um, Whatever products you're using, if it's a disposable cup, use a disposable cup, but don't use it for anything uh, with food ever again. I mean, that, that kind of stuff can get on your food, so it's very dangerous. And this is just a, a warning and uh, just to make you guys conscious of uh, 
of uh, painting and, and uh, the hazardous chemicals that, that you could be working with and stuff like that. So, anyways, uh, if you liked it, give me a five-star rating and please subscribe. Thank you.